Me and you. We're next. Fuck winners finals. It's me versus the bubs. This motherfucker. Grand finals can wait, man. Fucking cats, man. Nah, he's gone. He ran off. He knew he's a criminal now. Wanted fugitive. You better not come back, dumb bitch. So Koizy going with Molina out of the gate here. Not having a good go of it though. Is Han Rashid definitely in control? Here's the throw counter. Pushes him past the 50% mark. Han Rashid hasn't been touched yet. Still running off that momentum over too easy. Koizy is gonna finally find his moment here. Jumping goes through. Not gonna happen. Escape failed again maybe? Or was that the first one? I'm not sure I haven't been paying attention, but now we do know for certain that Han Rashid has that throw crushing glow queued up. So Koizy's gonna need to be very careful. Throw crushing glow on both sides. So it's not just a matter of teching the way the crushing glow comes. It can come either way. And that will be round one going to Han Rashid. Size coming out from Koizu. We can already see that he doesn't have that low side, which is one of the other uh, builds that koizu has been running. So I think he's either running air tele kick or air sai. Uh, we'll likely find out as the set progresses here. And against Fujin, a character that's very airborne with that Skywalker, I think air sai is actually a good idea, right? You can actually put a obstacle up there that now Fujin can't fly around. Stabby Scotch for the closeout. 302 damage, not quite enough for the kill, but it's getting close. Oh, he's got the size slide, so that is what Koizy's flavor move is. I gotta be honest, don't see much use of that size slide. It feels like a move that could actually be good, though, but just takes a little bit more work to figure out how uh, the functionality can be affected. Um, it's got some interesting aspects and properties to it, but that kind of stuff does take a little bit extra time behind, you know, underneath the hood figuring out how to actually use it. Koizy, though, is going to stabilize here in round two. That is going to be a round happening on his side as well. So final round up for bat. All right, goes with the full Skywalker launcher as well. Drops the combo a little late, though. Low poke comes through. Right now, Han Rashid, oh, I was about to say, has some good corner positioning, but actually throws himself into the corner with that run. And now Koizy able to potentially mount an offense. Not going to happen. Han Rashid finds an opening side switch happening as well. Goes for an Oki throw, though. Not going to happen here. And that time looking to duck underneath the playtime throw as well. Gets caught by the ball. And that's Fatal Blow from Koizy. This could very well be enough damage to kill. What a turnaround by Koizy. Oh yeah, I think this could be death, that last kick at the end. Oh, not quite! Wow, that last kick not enough, trying to chip out. Flawless Block actually saved him, but the Tele-Kick, there was no defensive meter to keep him alive through chip. And that will be Koizy taking game number... That was game two, right? Or was that game one? I've already forgotten. I got distracted by the cat knocking the water over. Was that game two? I'll have to check there. Well, hold on, how many losses does Koizy have? Oh, no, 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 I don't want to pay any respect. I think that was game two. No, that was just game one. All right, we're good. We're good. Wow, that was only game one? Jesus. Oh, no. What are you doing? So, Koizy claims game one, then. And we have seen that Han Rashid has a handful of characters available to him. He does also have a really strong Liu Kang, so he's not necessarily locked in here with... Uh, Fujin per se, you know, we know that he's got other characters that can do the job, but he is going to, it looks like, be sticking it out here with Fujin nonetheless. And here we go, game number two, losers finals as well. There is one set after this, and that's our grand finals of the evening to crown our champion. All right, short hop comes through. Little pokes. Little scramble back and forth here. Neither player has a significant advantage just yet, but that could obviously switch in a matter of moments here. Warp Needle's out. No punish. No amplify either, though. You know, that's the thing. Warp Needle has an amplify that a lot of players wait for to flawless block, and sometimes just not throwing the amplify out, you'll catch them waiting too long for an amplify that's never going to come, and by the time they realize you're not doing it, well, the opportunity to punish you is gone as well. I short hop from Han Rashid as well. You know, I think that uh, Fujin short hops, there's a handful of characters that it feels like both of their short hops have a use, but a lot of characters it feels like only one of them is really good, and Fujin short hop kick clearly outshines his short hop punch. 
It's way faster, and that's why I think you see Han Rashid not going for that short hop punch. He's all about the short hop kick because it's got a, it's a really it's like a, fa a nine frame overhead, very fast for a character that doesn't have an overhead threat. Uh, you can catch people with it quite a bit, and we've seen Han Rashid doing just that. Not to mention you're gonna duck over po or jump over pokes and a bunch of other aspects as well. Sends in the boot full screen. Stabby Scotch as well. No armor break, though, or no uh, roll, so we're not going to get the crushing blow, but might not need it here as Koizy just applying some heavy offense in this corner, and now will be a tied-up rounds here in Game 2. Oh, shimmying back and forth. There's the jump kick connection here for Han. Nice ball roll. Gonna get the Amplify, and of course there's no meter available to stop this. Stabby Scotch will give him the side switch on top of it, so gonna keep some decent positioning, but fujin has got good enough mobility that he's not too concerned with getting locked into any particular position on the screen, just because Skywalker is gonna let him go wherever he wants, it feels like. Nice throw, no crushing blow queued up, however. Backs away into the corner, nowhere left to run, so instead Koizy comes out swinging. That's Fatal Blow now available here for the Wind God. Koizy, not out of the woods yet. Needs one more clean combo to close this out and doesn't necessarily have the meter to make that happen either, so he's going to need to wait a little bit. Of course, a throw is also a deadly touch. There's a throw from Han Rashid. Fatal Blow now available for both, and now Koizy can confirm into the kill for basically not a lot of resource. I mean, Fatal Blow, it's the final round. You might as well spend it. Mids are coming out. Eight health remaining for Han Rashid. Koizy's not out of danger yet. The point blank Psy will find its mark, and Koizy takes game number two here. The Bugs is back. Hello, Bugs. More treats for you, huh? I'm not giving them to you. So there we go. That is going to be Koizy taking the lead 2-0 now over Han Rashid. And we'll see if Han Rashid has an answer. So far, I haven't seen his Liu Kang yet in this set. Perhaps he is going to try out the Liu Kang versus uh, Melina matchup. We'll find out in a moment here. I don't necessarily think that Fujin is struggling per se. It just seems like Koizy is just you know, able to find the, the, the little advantages he needs. So I'm not surprised that Han Rashid is going to be sticking it out here with his Fujin pick. His Fujin has proved to be extremely strong and has honestly left a few bodies in his wake as well. He's put a few down with Fujin. He's looking to add Koizy to the list, but Koizy is such a hard target to take out. He is currently one game away from reprising his role in Grand Finals versus Titanium Tigers, who is currently patiently waiting in our Grand Finals on the winner's side of things. All right, here we go. Loading screens are done. It is time. Game number three. We're in the Cyber Linque facility here, which has some interesting interactables. Not necessarily expecting to see a, a lot of those, them, but there is some interesting combo routes that you can go for with them, so that'll be interesting. Backing away. Size to keep the pressure on. Doesn't want to let Han Rashid just walk right in. Going to force him to at least deal with some of this uh, obstacle course that she wants to put out. Make sure it's not a free approach. Nice uppercut, though. Han Rashid trying to throw after his get-up attack. It's a classic move that a lot of players go for, and Koizy called it out. Look at that, 41% damage for it. That is a big batch of numbers that he's hit here. Now foot pushing Han Rashid into the Fatal Blow territory, which means if Han Rashid gets another clean combo, he actually could close it out with the Fatal Blow, so he could turn this one around. Koizy does have the meter for a full combo of his own, though. We've seen how hard Melina hits. 30%, no problem. And Han Rashid does not have the life to survive 30%. Doesn't have the meter to get it either. There's the Psy slide. And there's the amplified meter. So, so far, Koizy has been spending a lot of his meter on those Psy's. And, wow, he went for the interactable, which cost some defensive meter. Went back to it again. Han Rashid dodges them both. And he's got a fatal blow finish waiting for Koizy. Nicely done. I think Koizy was just trying to close it out quick. If had either of those moves hit, it was over. So Koizy was just trying to catch him off guard with something a little unexpected, but Han Rashid saw that. 
So he will put a round on the board here in game three. Nice full combo launcher at the end there. Patience, there's that mid. Koisi just hanging out though, not looking to be too aggressive. Let Han Rashid sort of take the first turn and then you follow up after he gives up his turn. And it's not Jackie, it's a character that does give up her turn, right? This character, Fujin, will eventually release his turn. And that's when Koizy's waiting for his moment to strike. Nice flawless block attack. Not going to be able to get the finish here. And in fact, the fatal blow going to come out from Koizy. I don't know if this is enough damage. There is a distinct possibility that Han Rashid could absolutely survive this. In fact, I'm going to start to say I think he will survive. His last kick is not a lot of damage. 10 health remains for Han Rashid. And there it is, the chip out from the size. We got a final round set point available, though, for Koizy. If he can take this final round, it is over. And he will be putting Han Rashid down 3-0 in our Losers Finals. All right, size away again. Size on size on size. Lots, ooh, there's that crossbow though, looking to challenge the size, so he can't be too comfortable just throwing him out there. Koizy gets the opening with a throw, and that'll be the crushing blow as well. Koizy's so good at just hanging out, keeping himself grounded to get that massive damage. Speaking of massive damage though, Han Rashid cashing out on some big numbers as well with a crushing blow of his own. Goes for the breakaway, but Koizy didn't spend any meter. This could be dire here. Gotta be careful. One more hit from Koizy, and he could turn it into a full combo kill. There's no defensive meter to stop that. And this could be it here. I don't think he's got enough damage. Oh, the crushing blow cash out is not quite enough, but it's close. Tried to catch him with a poke, and there it is. You see Koizy just... Throwing those pokes out there, trying to find that little extra hit that he needed. And Koizy will find it there in the end. So he is going to take it 3-0. And that is going to be 3-0 over, or over uh, Han Rashid. So Han Rashid is going to be bowing out in third place then.